Uh, let's talk about your other team, Hog. The, the other franchise that, that you were following, the playoff run you were following, like a mm-hmm. fanatic, like like the rest of us. Those <laughs> New York Knicks, man. Yeah. Last, bounced out in the second round. What did you think about uh, the, the Knicks run? I was sad for them because uh, I, I I know what Thibodeau puts into a season. I know what Jalen puts into a season. But when you, you, you really look at it, the Knicks are in position to do well for a long time. And who knows what's going to happen with Randall and what's going to happen with, with, with Robinson and all these different guys that were OG. I mean, you, you, the core is in place for them to be a good basketball team. They were, they were two guys short the whole playoffs, yet they went out there and had the garden rocking. I mean, I tried my, everything to get to New York. To, uh, to be a part of the madness because there's nowhere like New York and doing playoff basketball. And I saw guys I said, led by John, none other than John Starks, just flying around, man, <laughs> really enjoying the, the atmosphere. It was incredible. And I, I really feel like, I'll just say this, I think the Knicks have a, a very bright future uh, for the next couple of years. And if Jalen duplicates that the year that he just had, which – will be remarkable. It'll be hard to do exactly what he did this past season because yeah. he had he had an all pro year, let's face it, and got some considerations for most valuable player. He's their leader, you see. And I couldn't think of a, a better leader than Jalen Brunson leading your basketball team. You're gonna have to get some help, get some support, both offensively and defensively. But man, the run that they went on, I think surprised a lot of people. And uh, woke woke the city back up. Oh yeah! When it comes to uh, the NBA playoffs, the the energy was unmatched. I, I hadn't felt that yeah. since since the '90s, man. When like yeah. you know, the most casual of casual, the person who didn't watch a, a yeah. game one through eighty-two, but playoff time, they're like, oh man, I, I'm locked in. Yeah, you, it just looked like fun. It oh, just looked like a lot of fun. It was insane. And, huh? I mean, I you you can't help but not. I told my brother, I said, man, I'm some kind of way. I'm going to New York. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And I start thinking, I, I, I just wanted to be there one of those nights, you know, just to uh, just to get some goosebumps yeah. like you uh, like you you get at those games in New York. Well, I, I thought they did a great job in terms of they had they carved out like that legend section. So it was Starks, yeah, yeah. it's Houston, Free Will, Ewing was there one night, Marbury yeah. shows up there. So you, you would have been right there with the guys, man. And and I, w- I went to – uh, I was at game one, Philly. I was at game one, Indiana. I went to game five, a couple other ones. And Starks, yeah. I'm, I'm watching Starks. I'm getting 90s nostalgia because it's like, John is like, he's on the court every time. He's, <laughs> he's, he's doing this. John is nuts. Never drops but the that, popcorn, but he's out there, about. man. Yeah, yeah. John is the epitome of New York. You know that. Yeah. I mean, he, he's New York's own, man. And... uh Whew, it, 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 it had me fired up. That's yeah. all I was, I, I was all over it. I was I was there in spirit because that's my team and the team that I almost won a championship with. No question about it. And, uh, you know, in the the two games against the Mavs this year, did, did you and Jalen have any conversations? Were you able to catch up with him, like like, like when he returned yeah, to, uh, to Dallas? we spoke. I think JB uh, was injured. He missed the game here in Dallas, I think, if I recall. Mm-hmm. And I don't don't quote me on that, but we yeah yeah we talked briefly. He was yeah. on my podcast before the season started and all that stuff. But uh, phenomenal man, yeah. JB is he, he's the man. And yeah, I think what ha- helped him even more was he had those 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 uh, Villanova boys with him, man. He he had his guys, the guys that he played with Divincenzo and you know Josh Hart. I think that's why Jalen had such a remarkable season mm. because of the familiarity with those two guys. I mean, who played better than Hart? Yeah. And Hart, Hart. Hart. In, in those series, especially the uh, the semifinals, nobody played better. I mean, those guys were everywhere, making play after play after play. And, uh, you know, JB, he's there now. I mean, he he's one of the guys. He's going to be the haunted for the rest of his career, this is not he's he's not gonna have to he's not gonna just creep up on him. Yeah, anybody. he's yeah. gonna have to come to play every yeah. single night in that 
I think he's up for the task. Yep, it, it, it's his team, and and he seems tailor made for this city. And, yeah. and and speaking of haunted, you were you were quoted in the post after I was at the. So it's funny. I, I went to Game Four in Philly. Yeah. And to me, that was one of the best games I had have had ever witnessed. Then I went to Game yeah. Five in the Garden with Maxi's heroics. And that was probably the worst game I'd ever seen in person. Mm. You you commented on it. You got the Reggie flashbacks. That was an incredible performance, but a tough night at the Garden, man. I, I don't know how to explain. Well, it brought back memories. I'm not gonna lie to you, because it was almost the exact way. Um, just incredible, man. Yeah. That, that's why we love basketball, man. For for moments like that, when guys step up and make plays like that down the stretch. With the pressure on, um, that's what it's all about. I mean, you want nothing more than to produce under the gun. Maxi did it, and because of it, probably getting ready to get a max deal, yeah. if you would, based on his play during the playoffs. So I'm just uh, – the NBA is in a fantastic spot right now. There are a lot of young players, and I remember us talking about whether or not JB and uh, Brunson, I'm sorry, Donovan Mitchell and Brunson could coexist. We had that conversation mm -hmm. uh, right before they signed Jalen. And I don't think, I think Jalen can coexist with anybody right now. And every time mm -hmm. I see Eddie, I tell him that too, case. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, yeah. It's it's gonna be interesting to see, man. I, we just had Bobby Marks from, from ESPN on the show yesterday, oh, nice. and, and their off season is is gonna be tricky, especially with new salary cap restrictions and things of that nature. Yes. So you yes. know it, it's gonna to come to a point where it, it's a feel good story, but you know how New York is. But that's right. And then, that's now right. we're gonna be at a crossroads. Where are we going with that's this, right. right? So it happens. It happens all the time. Yeah. It happens that way.